is the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 refit. She is a stellar Constitution class, and constructed at San Francisco Fleet Yards. She was uh, launched in 2271 after an extensive refit after several five-year missions. She was destroyed in 2285. is 305 meters long, 21 decks and a crew of 450. Her top speed is warp 8. She has 9 dual phaser arrays and 3 photon torpedo launchers. Her two captains after the refit are James D. Kirk and Spock. had undergone minor refurbishments in the past, but the punishing nature of the mission had taken a toll on the ship and a major refit was required. It had been subject to numerous hull bounding bombs <laughs> sorry, and frame stressing maneuvers and was in good need of almost a complete rebuild. Nearly every system was replaced or upgraded and the interior was remodeled and refurbished. The construction of the Enterprise reconstruction sorry was so extensive that the Enterprise practically became a brand new ship. Although it contained, it kept its once of no one registry. The overhaul took approximately 18 months and was overseen by Captain William Decker, who was overtaking command of the ship after Kirk's promotion to Admiral. He was given valuable technical assistance by engineer Montgomery Scott, a man who knew the ship better than anyone else. A first glance, the refit appeared much as it had before, with a saucer section connected to an engineer in hull two warp nose cells. A closer examination revealed many subtle changes that resulted in a sleeker, more elegant look, and was now 14 metres longer. While the external change to the Enterprise was more an evolution than a revolution, the internal changes were more radical. The very heart of the ship was replaced with a new vertical warp core, superseding the old horizontal configuration energy from the old warp engines, was now rooted to the ship's nine dual powered banks resulting in weapons far more powerful, although this did mean that a war power was knocked out of the phases were offline too. The most obvious changes to the casual observer were the renovation of the inside of the ships. They were completely redecorated and refurbished in a new colour scheme and all the consoles were upgraded. The warp core, the engineer transport room, shuttle bay and main bridge were all totally redesigned. The refit of the Enterprise was rushed into service in 2271 to deal with the feature crisis. The refurbishment upgrades had not been fully completed and many of the systems, including the transporters and warp engines, were not operational, similar to what happened to the Enterprise B <laughs> and A. In fact, the only one they ever show working instantly on a first mission is the Enterprise D. <laughs> but as the Enterprise was the only starship in intercept range, it had to be launched ahead of schedule. Mission was a success. The refit Enterprise took another five year mission with Kirk again in command. When it was completed in 2277, the refit Enterprise became a training vessel assigned to Starfleet Academy under the command of the newly promoted Captain Spock. I'll just put this back in there. I can never get this right. <laughs> It was a fitting final mission for the NCC-1701, 
saving one of its last group, most valued crew members. The refit may have changed its appearance, but in essence it was still the same ship. Far better for it to go out in a blaze of glory, helping to save the life of Kirk's old friend, than be scrapped because it was too old for service. <coughs> Star Trek 3 to search for Spock. 